Good morning from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Monday, December 11, 2017. Snowing like crazy outside. Guess it's time to put the lawnmower away. I am working on the 1940 16-foot Lyman Yacht Tender. I've got her flipped and I have uh, been using my Sandvik, Sandvik scrapers to uh, clean the bottom off. Uh, why not use Circa 1850, which is our go-to stripper? Well, on the starboard uh, side of the bottom, I did start a section of, of the uh, latch drakes using 1850, and quite frankly, it just made a huge mess. Uh, the paint is very dry. It's not strongly adhered to the wood. So I decided to give this a shot. Turns out, in this application at least, it's much, much faster. Um, I go over a section first with the big scraper. along the strakes and on the faces of the strakes I can clean out the material right down to bare wood. Now what I will do once I I, I have oh one two 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 strakes about the last three, four feet to do. Once I've got them scraped and everything's vacuumed off, I will come back with uh, one of our stainless steel scrub pads and put on very thin coats of the Circa 1850 and just do a final scrub um, from the keel to the water line. And that, that will remove the residual stuff, particularly stuff in the counter sinks and around the heads of the fasteners. Um, that will also help me identify fasteners that go into the ribs. And this is the, the fastener of choice for the ribs. It's a copper nail that is peened over on the inside. Uh, quite a few of these. Here's one. Here's one. Oh, as I go around, here's one. Quite a few of these fasteners that went into ribs have, have released some. And we can see, if I pan right over to here. And uh, look much more closely. Somebody at one time has installed 
large headed, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they're, they're copper or brass, probably brass, wood screws. Uh, I found about 50 of those below the waterline so far. We will back every one of those out for sure. We will back out any nail that is suspicious for sure. We will then fill those voids with uh, hardwood maple toothpicks and Gorilla Glue and drill new pilot holes and we are uh, going to violate the historical correctness just a bit. Uh, I, I choose not to try to drive copper nails back in and hope that we can peen them over and really cinch it tight. So in these areas we will use silicon bronze, probably number eight by about uh, inch, inch and a quarter wood screws to achieve this goal. And refasten the bottom not completely, but in large measure. So, I continue to be amazed that a 1940 yacht tender, lap strake, is in such incredibly good condition. I haven't found a single instance of rot anywhere in this hull, inside or out. Her, what I call her ghost of Susan, transom, is really in great shape. Even that seam between the bottom most plank and the next one up on the transom uh, is tight. Almost always we have to release that bottom uh, plank and clean out the joint between it and the next plank up and refasten it and seal it uh, as we do. But we're making real progress. It won't be long before we have her refastened, at which point uh, she, her bottom will receive uh, three coats of clear penetrating epoxy sealer five coats of 2000E Interlux barrier coat bottom primer and then three coats of Lyman bronze anti-fouling paint and at which point we can flip her over and start making her pretty. So that's our update on December 11, 2017 on the 1940 Lyman 16 foot yacht tender. Thank you so much. Bye bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.